Welcome to this Windows channel and today we're going to take a look as we're continuing to examine the privacy settings in Windows 10 since the November update. We're going to take a look at the location setting of the privacy settings. Um, if you go down to the bottom right into the notifications, you'll click all settings, go into privacy and on the left side you have location. So what does location um, do exactly how is it good is it bad that's where we're what we're going to actually explain here first of all if you want to understand one thing is that the reason why location exists is to pinpoint where you are and the reason to pinpoint where you are and to um, want to know where you are is for example simple one say you want to look at the weather Ever wondered why a weather app knows where you are, which city you live in? Well, location. If you go to specific places, say for example, a great uh, example I have is I often go to a Mexican food restaurant that's very near where I live. But at one point as a tech guy, I was on the road and I was downtown. I had about two hours to kill, so and I was hungry. I was like, okay. Let's see what restaurants like there are here. And I looked at the map and it told me, hey, you know, there's a great Mexican restaurant just nearby. And of course, I didn't know about that restaurant. So that's the good side of, you know, these location settings that it can pinpoint where you are. It can give you great information of what's around you. Uh, you know, it can be as simple as, okay, I'm uh, somewhere I don't know you know, I, uh, a place where I, I, I just don't know the city where I am in. And I have this craving for sushis. Well, I just type sushi and it pinpoints, oh, about a kilometer and a half from you, there's a sushi bar. So it's like, oh, okay, cool. So that's the good side. Privacy is, uh, privacy, location is a good thing for that because it can really pinpoint a lot of useful information around you. Uh, it can, you know, mark pictures that you take and say, well, okay, that picture was taken at this spot. <clears throat> Things like that. The bad side of location is, of course, you are being tracked. And your device tracks you, but not just your device. It's also that everybody tracks you. Google tracks you. Uh, even Microsoft will get information from there to know where you are. It doesn't pinpoint exactly who you are, though. You got to understand that, that it's kind of an anom anonymous way of lo locating you, but it's still locating you. And of course, there could be ways, you know, of apps or especially malicious apps of making, you know, two and two equal four and decide that, well, okay, that then you must be that person that lives here to do this and go there. And yeah, you know, there are bad things that can be done with location. But basically, like I always say, privacy is, you know, a thin line and we have to understand and use our privacy settings in a way that the benefits, the positive outweighs the negative of what it could do. So your location, my general switch, the master switch of location is right here. This is the first switch you'll find on or off. And when you put off, you can change your location manually if you want. But the general location, the general switch for location is the first switch that you see here. You might have noticed on your taskbar at the bottom right, this circle with a black dot in it. That circle with a black dot means that your computer or your tablet or your phone is actually looking at where you are right now. And this is to be able to tell apps or tell, you know, any component in Windows where you are so it can adjust itself to the specific needs that you might have. Then you got location history. <clears throat> location history is simply put that your computer not only knows where you are, but the history or the computer or the tablet or the smartphone 
tracks you and pinpoints where you're going. So basically, if you're going all around town, it's going to, you know, put little dots or it's going to know, okay, uh, you spend a lot of time at this bar, you spend a lot of time at uh, this uh, restaurant, you go at this park often, things like that. Uh, and the idea behind the history of location is, of course, to pinpoint a little more in apps, for example, where you might actually be interested in going if you ever want to go somewhere. Because it says, oh, he goes at restaurants all the time. Maybe he's interested in knowing the restaurants around him right now. Uh, he goes at this karaoke bar all the time. Well, now he's in another city. Maybe he wants to know where the karaoke, uh, karaoke bars are in this city. That's the idea behind the history. It's by knowing your habits, it might pinpoint. But of course, knowing your habits also means that knows where you go all the time. It knows what you do all the time. That could be something that you prefer not to do. There is a way to clear your history and it's that little clear button. When you click on it, it puts a little check mark. And what it does is just clears um, when you get out of the settings, it will clear all of the information it has on where you were and what you did. Um, of course, you have to go and clear it regularly if you want that to be removed. Of course, you have to learn more about location settings and privacy statement, which gives you the general idea. It sends you to the Microsoft page, lets you know what they do, how it works, and how it... Uh, uh, they try to tell you, you know, it's not dangerous, it's not something that you should be afraid of. Uh, and here are the benefits and the negative. Uh, I would say, you know, the general location switch, I'm not sure it's a good idea to turn it off, but of course you can if you want to. Uh, I prefer more of a selective general um, setting of location, meaning that of all the apps that use my location, I prefer using that and just tell which apps are, um, you know, I want location to use or to work in which apps I don't want so. Uh, so here you got, of course, a list of all the apps on your computer that has location usage. By default, most apps have the switch at off, but there are a few that have the switch on. So for example, uh, there are apps I don't understand why there should be uh, on switch. For example, Trivial, Trivial Pursuit in Friends here, which is a game. I don't really want, you know, that location setting to be on. I don't really want everybody on that game knowing where I am. Of course, it has the advantage that it probably chooses local players instead of players from all around the world, but I don't care. So there are things like that that I don't really want, but there are apps that I want. You know, you want to have it on for weather. If you don't put it on for weather, how can it know where you are? It can give you the real weather. Of course, you can search for it. If that's what you prefer, you can, you know, go in the app and say, okay, I want to know the weather for Montreal. I don't care you don't know where you are, where I am. Uh, my news app, I turn it on. Why? Because it gives me local news. You know, I'm not interested in knowing what's happening in, um, you know, Los Angeles or Vancouver. Uh, I'm sure you guys got, you know, great news, but I want to know what's happening here in Montreal. And that's why this is on. Um, mail in calendar. Why is there a location setting there? Well, because in the calendar, for example, if you have appointments and you have street addresses, it can actually tell you how far you are from there. Things like that. But of course, there's a lot of apps that I don't want to have and I just keep it off. I don't use the maps in um, Microsoft, so that's why I turn it off. Uh, I don't want really Skype or messaging to know where I am. Stuff like that. Uh, the camera app. It might be good, might be bad. It depends what you want to do. Having, you know, the question <laughs> that probably a lot of people say is, why should I turn camera on for location? Because if you took, say you went around town and you took 200 pictures today and you go back home and the next day you look at the pictures and you're like, hmm, where was this taken? Well, by creating a location and leaving this option on, 
it's actually gonna match an area on a map with the picture you've taken so it might remind you where you were so you see the positive and negative of everything when we do this there are some nice positive sides of the location settings by the way one of the things you should know in location is if you turn it off it turns location for Windows and the apps that come from the Windows Store but be warned uh, browsers like Google Chrome will locate your lo location in another way. It can use your IP address, for example, that really pinpoints a lot where you are. And so be warned that there are programs that bypass this setting. This is mostly for Windows itself and the apps that you get from the store that are controlled through Windows, basically. So that's the good and the bad, you know, and uh, the mostly bad thing that can happen is, you know, some apps that might use that information to for for you know bad reasons or negative reasons uh, but mostly you know what I think location is a good thing because it's fun it helps you know it helped me so much in different things and different places that I went that I actually find it much more uh, interesting to have it on than have it off but with all that I said today you have a clearer idea of what you can do and uh, how you can set these on or off or just generally put it off if you want. Finally, the last option here is not available everywhere. It's geofencing. Geofencing is a, um, think of it as being a virtual uh, barrier that you set on a map. So for example, you might set a, a barrier uh, on a map around where you live and say, well, where I'm outside these boundaries, I don't want to be tracked anymore. These are possible. Geofencing can be set, but not everywhere. You see here, there's no setting. There's nothing I can do about it. Uh, geofencing might be in specific apps, for example, or on tablets or more mobile devices. So depending on what you use. So I hope this helps you in learning a little more about privacy. If you have any comments, questions, problems, let us know. If you like our videos, want to subscribe, you can also um, give us thumbs up if you like the videos. And thank you so much for following us. And uh, it's always fun to have your comments and suggestions.